Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rupai has added his voice to the burning conversation around evacuation notices issued to Fulani headsmen in some region in the country for their alleged parts in festering violence and invasion of farmlands to destroy farmers' toil. Mr. El Rufai, a Fulani himself, said the rights of every citizen to live anywhere should be respected. In January, the governor of Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu, and a popular Yoruba activist, Sunday Igboho Adeyemo, gave the headsmen an ultimatum to vacate their territories over claims that they use the rainforest of the western states to perpetrate criminal activities. Mr. Akeredolu asked the headsmen to vacate Ondo forest reserves, while Mr. Igboho agitated their, their evacuation from Okyogun and other parts of Yoruba land. However, Mr. El Rufai, in a statement on Wednesday, condemned the destruction of properties and labeling of an ethnic group as criminals. Just as he described the call for their eviction as unlawful, Reacting to some of the videos across so social media where properties of alleged criminals were destroyed, the governor said some Kaduna citizens alleged that the incidents have the support of leaders in the states where the attacks occurred. We should not be seduced into dangerous passion of blaming innocents declaring them guilty of the crimes of others, evicting them, killing and destroying their property, he said, while maintaining that denying people their rights to live where they choose to only creates room for violence. He also appealed to the state's residents to respect the right of all citizens to live in peace, wherever they work and reside, just as he urged his counterparts in other states to issue similar statements to avoid chaos. It is time for government and leaders at all levels to step in, exercise firm action, engage people and ensure that the responsibility these dire times demand is not derailed by those who only see opportunity for their own myopic agenda. We cannot allow by inaction or otherwise the reign of anarchy where fear creates a tragic momentum of violence blurring the lines between victims and perpetrators and complicating a difficult moment. We urge our representatives in the National Assembly to expedite action on the constitutional amendments that would usher in state and community policing as this is the ultimate panacea for effective law enforcement nationwide. Mr. Eldrufai said. The Kaduna governor also called on security agencies to rein in all non-state actors, like Mr. Igoho, tackle hateful rhetorics and protect all communities. He said, those who engage in criminal acts must be arrested and prosecuted without regard to their ethnic or religious persuasion. Mr. El Rufai is not immune to making hateful or sectional species of his own in defense of his ethnicity. While protesting a military operation in parts of Kaduna 
to clear the area of criminal elements in 2012. Mr. El Rafai, who was an opposition figure, threatened that any one soldier or not who kills a Fulani takes a loan repayable one day, no matter how long it takes. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning um, this particular reaction and the statements or release by El Rufai? We all know that Mr. El Rufai is not immune to making hateful speech or sensational speeches of his own in defense of his ethnicity. Now that it is, he is on the other side of the coin, he is claiming the law and also stating that Fulanese, like other Nigerians, have a right to live anywhere they wish. No one is disputing that. Nobody is actually saying that they don't have a right. But what people are saying is that they don't have the right to put their own interest above others' interest. They don't have the right to come into another man's land and... Uh, take over the land when they have not bought the land. They do not have the right over the lives of other people. They do not have the right to put their own religion above other people's religion. They do not have the right to put their own business above any other people's business. It is sad and unfortunate that even El Rufai himself, a supposed governor of Kaduna State, is also twisting the narratives. And uh, this is very, very wrong and unfortunate that someone of his statue could uh, be uh, seen or could be heard, you know, twisting the narrative of the situation of things in the country. We all know that this is a national issue and anybody who wants to lend his voice should first of all get the facts right before lending his or her voice on the issue. Nobody has said that they don't have a right. But what they are insisting is that you cannot leave your own land, come to another man's community and continue to perpetrate evil, kidnapping, raping, armed robbery and other evil vices without recourse to your conscience, their conscience, their own laws, culture and the law of the land. And that is what the people are fighting against. So it is sad and unfortunate that, uh, you know, northern elites, as it were, are beginning to take this matter or twist this matter and uh, begin to impute political tones into it. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, be that as it were, I stand to be corrected. Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.